so I did uh, one for Patreon yesterday. Uh, and I'll do another version for you. I um, <clears throat> really enjoyed speed painting. The one I did yesterday took about 10 minutes, plus a couple of minutes to sort the frame out. Uh, so, no, no detail, just a sort of a, a coast, coast, so let's just put a coast in, bit of a, bit of a Norfolk coast, coming out to see there. Okay, now we've got a bit of bit of bit of sea coming in. Okay, that'll do. It's all you need because you're going to cover it up. Uh, right, so we've got uh, cadmium yellow pale, yellow ochre, cadmium red. I put white out yet. Uh, ultramarine, red ochre, and Payne's grey. Let's just clean that off there. He starts off clean. But I do like paintings that try to say everything with a minimum of effort. And uh, they're my favourite paintings to do because you don't get bogged down in trying to create a detail. Just a statement now. Sky of course. Now I'm going to use big brush now. An inch flat, good quality, Georgian, Dale Rowney, number 12. I bought this at the range, our local range, but now they've decimated their art section in favour of a, a frozen fish, meat, blah, 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 Iceland supermarket. And they've just ruined the uh, lovely art counter where they had all these lovely brushes, all the paints you could ever want. Well, the student ranges and the basic ranges and the artist quality. Uh, lots of acrylics um, and gesso and all sorts of things that I would buy. But unless it's closed. Right, OK, so let's uh, get in a bit of dark, bit of Payne's grey, bit of... Oh, I was going to put the white out, wasn't I? That's going to be white. OK. There's plenty of that, plenty of uh, yellow ochre for sand and stuff. I, I want a bit more detail in, in that uh, sea coming in or outgoing tide. So a bit of, bit of white. And I think I made the uh, clouds on the horizon just, just a bit too prominent. Now I like to use a bit of ochre in my clouds such as they are, a bit of oil, just to help spread it. Not already we're creating a, some movement in the sky. Want a bit more dark in there. I, I did lean on a painting by Jackie Gardner yesterday for that one, although I didn't do anything like what she did. But I just used it as the idea. Now she doesn't mind. I don't mind you using my paintings for your own use. It's only we all we all work from each other. But copying exactly from what somebody else has done is a bit bit off. Look at that, so I need that ochre colour there. I want to see that uh, drawing underneath my little design. Uh, 
Now I've got two humps here, we don't want that, do we? Just get that direction of uh, travel of the sky. And Norfolk, the Norfolk coast is uh, very uh, fragile. Okay, let's get that cloud above. I'll go a bit of blue with it. Bit of oil, just a touch of oil. Just so it's, it just moves the paint. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm going to leave that now. I'm going to go to a smaller brush, this uh, graduate bright brush. I'm going to cut another piece of cloth. Um, I have to do some later. Right now, we want some uh, disappearing sand. That doesn't show, does it? So let's have a bit more. Just a bit of ochre in there. And right, let's get in a bit of Bluey, greeny. Okay, there's something there. Now we're getting a bit of green on the top. Red, blue, paints grey. I like doing this size painting for two reasons. One, you can see the mix, and I can uh, put it in the frame that I've had for some years, which was a photograph frame, I think. Get a bit of grey in there. Uh, I'm not a great lover of that, so bit of coast here. Uh, blue grey for that top over there. Right. Some grassy stuff coming down here. Just a little bit of uh, trees on the top of that. Okay. 
a bit of sand. A bit bluer on there. Get a little bit of light on there to count the change. Now create an impression, don't get bogged down too much in paying too much attention to one bit with a hive just have. Okay, now get some sand in, a bit of white, a bit of, a bit of red ochre in there. Cover up the drawing. I'll justify that in a minute. Just get the wet sand reflecting the sea. Now I don't live by the sea, I'm in London. So I have to guess all this work from my previous paintings. Okay, let's just get a little bit of just I'll see if I could just extend that so uh, Here, sorry if I'm a Okay, that's about all we need really. Okay, well just about shows the counter change, always very important. Now we go in with some uh, sea colour.
Ve bu için şahit abi yandı diye. Is that all I see? It's all changing it slightly. Okay, well I can't do much more than that I think. Really, really, I think. Okay, I'll go let that go. Uh, put it in the mouth or in the frame. Let's take this off. I think my next one's going to be on paper, a bit larger. But you might be able to see that. Uh, it's only five past eleven. Of course, so much paint on here that on the board, my painting board, that the masking tape is not really sticking. Okay, so I've got, I've got a. a oh, what's that? Awesome. Uh, we've got one of those hairy things sticking to it. Oh, it's in the primer. There we are. Yeah, 
좋습니다. 开个大的那厨房，我就是平板。我是铺，这是铺，所以它是 slide down。Well, lovely summer day in London. I shall be cooking outside. Just a couple of nice large, or fair-sized trout. And I haven't drunk my tea. Right, here we are, folks. I think that's a better sky than I did yesterday for Patreon. But anyway, there we are. So we've got a little bit of a wave coming in here. Uh, maybe I've overdone it a little bit. But I like the sky. The sky um, is much better. I've got some nice distance in there as we go off along the coast into the misty. We got stuck on a beach once on North Norfolk. <coughs> and that was sand uni. <coughs> uh, the tide was way out and, and uh, we went out we had one of the children that we one of our children not had mine uh, mine were a little bit older but um, we walked out we've been to the pub we always go to the pub uh, I walked out and our friends were pushing the youngest in a push chair and all of a sudden the mist came in and the tide started to come in and we were about a quarter of a mile from the shore and we couldn't see a thing. We didn't know which way and the, 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 the little waves were circling. We didn't know, we just, uh, but we did actually get a glimpse of the fir trees on the coast where my wife was and, and that just gave us the, the direction but we came very close to, hmm, oh, good to think what might have happened. It's a quite a nice gentle picture. I hope you like it. I'll, I'll get that uploaded later on for you and I'll do another one now. I might do one of the wonder. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.